Today, we haven't taken an old fur coat, haven't sighed with regret, risk to give it one more chance. The old friend, at times, is better than too new. It was an unusual color and a silk fur coat from a textile waste. There is only fur. Hasten to do good, give to textiles the second life. Reanimation actions do Tatiana Lazareva. Hello, dear viewers. Having reread again in 121 times Ilf and Petrov 12 chairs, I have paid attention to courageous experiments of Elichka with fur. She has painted it with green watercolor and has transformed in the Mexican jebua that has allowed Ostabender to exclaim, This is a Shanghai leopard. I recognize it on a shade, an emerald, an emerald. And today you will surprise nobody with the most unusual, including emerald shades of you. I wouldn't risk to paint few with a green watercolor. And to give a green emerald shade to fur, it's possible also in other ways, for example, by means of textiles. So, we take a fur piece. I don't advise to do it with new fur. Let it still will serve. And if there is any weak point in pile, or any high temples and ugly places, we can cover it with the help of such transparent gas fabrics or a fabric with the express drawing. We put them in those places which need updating and covering with textiles, we form the new, very interesting and picturesque texture. We have fixed the weak fur with a machine stitch. We have laid out the textile elements, then, by means of the sewing machine, have laid the spontaneous stitches, have fixed an inner side, and at the same time, we can release fur if it's not injured. In other words, using the simple sharp scissors, we can cut out after the stitch in any places and get the combined texture, textiles plus fur.
It seems to me that our textile experiment was very successful. Pay attention to sleeves of this quilted jacket. Here we have a combination not only textiles and fur, which is laid out specially, but also are added pellets, buckles, beads. There is no limit of your imagination. And if you want simple to try, begin with small elements, for example mittens or a small pocket for a bag. You see that we have combination of the most different fabrics, which become complicated with woolen threads throughout the circuit. And you partially letting out fuel give absolutely unexpected and very interesting surface to your product. By the way, if you need to recover natural old fuel, use the secret of our grandmothers. They prepared a solution. On one liter of water, they took in equal quantities all listed substances. 20 gram of glycerin, 20 gram of alcohol, 20 gram of aluminum yeast and 20 gram of table salt. Then, accurately, using the hairbrush, put the solution on fewer back side, trying not to get on the scalp. Then, pile impregnated with qualitative shampoo, already trying not to get on an inner side. Then, the fur needed to be dried up. For this purpose, it was filled with nails at a distance 3-4 cm and dried up under natural conditions. It's remarkable when you have enough big fur and if small but very beautiful pieces, we have a method and in this case. We put the most different strips of fur on a lining. You can take both, the natural pieces and any shaggy fur with a short pile and fake. Look, what interesting shades can be taken in hand and to get the new fur in a combination with textiles from the most different pieces. We cover it with textiles, let it will be gauze or very thin organza and the position of joint of two strips will be between seams. In other words, under the organza. And we let out the free fur having cut the organza. Thus, we have very interesting texture which can be applied to the most different products. Pay attention, I had an old fell, weak enough which I have complicated here with such very thin organs. I have covered fur and have laid the vertical meshing stitches. There is one nuance. It's necessary to lay the stitches on a fur course. It's directed downwards, and it's necessary to put the organza on the beers, not lengthwise and not cross-section, and such at an angle of 45 degrees. Then, when you cut, you will get very accurate and beautiful fur from organza, and in free places there will be a natural or fake fur of very interesting design.
You can't let out not so beautiful parts of you and fix it by beautiful machine stitch. I think that this experiment you will like very much. By the way, the old natural fur needs to be refreshed. If you have come from the street and you have dirty places, it's necessary to allow for them to dry out and then vigorously and very accurately to comb out using a special hairbrush, which can be bought in pet shop. Once a week, it's necessary to wipe a lap, sleeves and a neck. Our grandmothers clean the short fur in very unusual way. Cooked hot mashed potatoes, which wrapped in short pile, allowed to dry up and then vigorously stirred up. Sometimes for long pile used the following recipe. Took a mash which prepared from talk and kerosene. After the work you still have the smallest scraps of fuel or threads and it's okay. I think that we should use them too. I usually put them on color in one container, because they can become a base for the magnificent fur texture, in spite of the fact that it's the real textile waste. You fix them all by means of textile glue, and it can be the most different. For example, there is such glue in the form of a powder, which is simply poured out and then is pressed by the iron. It can be the most different variants of a cobweb or usual glutinous flizzelin. Such glue uses special love here. You shouldn't wonder, it really glue Avalon and it's very good in work, we necessarily in the following program will work with it. And now all will be very simple. We will fix by means of glutinous flizzling all our textile waste on its glutinous surface. Then, by means of the iron and hot steam, we will fix and will lay many machine stitches. As a result, we will have the most different surfaces. If you work with Vlizelin, it's possible to lay the machine stitches directly on it, and if you, for example, use any fur or thick woolen clothes base, you can directly put the glutinous cobweb on the base, then all scraps, and to fix all it using a machine stitch. It's a very good way for complication of a thick woolen clothes, of any old coat which turns to something unusual. Of course, by means of a machine stitch, we have simply a half-finished product. The pocket of this bag is a result of such work, which we have complicated with applique work and very glaring decorative elements, and there was a place even for an old brooch. It seems to me, it's a remarkable way to wake up our creative imagination.
By the way, the most rare perfume is fuel of an otter. It's considered as 100%. In this case, the sable will be only 80%. A mink 70, the blue fox 65, astrakhan fur 50, a fox muskrat 45, the squirrel 30, and a min and kalinsky 25, a rabbit 12, a mole and a goa 10, and a hare only 5%. Not economic, but thus such nice. While someone asserts that the ship skinned worse, we safely take any material in hand. If you have a beautiful fabric with strongly pronounced drawing, you can use this element as application as we have made. We cut out a beautiful and bright flower, have put it on a color from fake fur, have fixed along the perimeter by a machine stitch, and have complicated with a woolen thread which have enclosed under a zigzag seam. Then, have laid the threads on the flower by a straight machine stitch, and have complicated the middle with the help of pipes and beads. As a result, we have very interesting and glaring element. The master class is finished. Work with a spark, with a smile. Smile. After all, the excessive gravity very much harms to creativity and scares off inspiration. Good luck and two new meetings. With you, there was Tatiana Lazareva.